It's Scott Brown here. In this exciting episode, we demolish our old kitchen. Old kitchen goes here. It's finally happening. We're finally getting rid of the old kitchen. I think it's had a long and good life, this kitchen. Just by the way it's been built, I can kind of tell that someone put a lot of time into it. So I appreciate it on that level. But now that we've got the new kitchen, it is hard to believe that we even put up with this kitchen for as long as we did. We? Pardon me? We put up with this kitchen. <laughs> Now that, to be fair, you do all the dishes and stuff, it made us both rage. So as a reward for our patience, we get to demolish this place. Are you excited? Yeah, do I need to wear more protective clothing than this? I'm quite accident prone. No, you're great. You sure? Yeah. Stupid <laughs> chocolate. Think of all the times you complained about the bench space, Jess. Use that as motivation. <laughs> you go like that, there's tension. So, sorry, see so the tension? Yeah. Now, I like to hold on to things and reuse things, but a kitchen like this, this old, it's not really worth saving. Most of the drawers and most of the cabinets are made of this chipboard stuff here, and all the hinges. Um, they were almost the first version of the modern kitchen hinge and they're a little hard to deal with and everything's covered in grease as well There's some bits of solid timber like uh, that looks like I mean it looks like a That end panel? Yeah well, Maybe we'll save that Turn that into a shelf? Yeah That's it Cockroaches? Oh. I guess that's to exhaust the uh, heat from the oven. I remember we had that plant like germinate in between. It was a tomato, wasn't it? Was it was a tomato seed got um, wiped in here and germinated in between the tiles. So I've always just assumed there'd be something really gross underneath. You know, most people don't know what germinate means. Mm. People know what germinate means. But let's assume they don't. Oh my gosh, people definitely know what German Just means. say that we had a little tomato. I will not talk down to your audience in such a way. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's so satisfying. There we go, it's really fun. Yeah, you love it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. That one flew. Oh! Went right through. kitchen is not going down without a fight. It may be like average material, like MDF and everything, but it's solid. This guy built this to last. Holy moly. This is crazy. Whenever we'd put our hands in the cupboard in the winter, it would feel very cold. And that is because at the back of the cupboards was this thin panel here. No plasterboard, no nothing. Just a thin panel, back of the cupboard, and then open. One time my smoothie Nutribullet had black mold growing on it. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, 
think the whole thing's been glued together. One. Right. Maybe just take that straight out. That is a unit. Look at all these different brackets. With a big untold story of New Zealand houses. What do you mean? Well, that leaked. We know it leaked. We had stuff growing on the bench top. Moisture got down the back and we thought mold everywhere, almost certainly. And then we pulled it apart and because the wall is so open, there's no insulation, no nothing, it was able to just dry out. And then you don't have insulation, but you do have a fireplace. So people will stay warm with the fire going, dries everything out as well, and then everything's okay. But now as modern building comes in, we put more and more insulation in, more plasterboard, seal everything up, and you get a leak like that, and then you get mold, it can't dry out. As we make the house better, we create another problem that we then need to figure out. I'm okay. Look at all this. Those are the staples in the back of the cabinet. Every, what? inch every 20 30 mil and then look these nails have been everywhere every shelf that we've worked on they're not just regular panel pins they are ring shanked so they have little rings on it to increase the grip usually you use that on the outside when you're building a fence or something to help stop the timber warping in the sun but this has been used to connect every element of this cabinetry together Hi Ray. Hi. Welcome back, back. Back back to work. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Uh, it's okay working for you. Oh yeah. yeah. Thanks. It's always a bit of a holiday. <laughs> I can't tell if you're taking a piss because it sounds like a compliment, but I'm not. I don't trust it. Yeah. I, I back at you doing sarcasm. <laughs> oh okay. We actually watched a, um, a mini documentary this morning. Why are the Dutch? Why are the Dutch so direct? And at one point I said to Scott, I just imagined the Netherlands and it's all right. <laughs> That's a nightmare. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one, Brit one British guy, um, when he first moved there, he went and got a haircut and then he went back to work and the first thing one of the Dutch guys said to him was, you look better before the haircut. <laughs> it's like, oh, jeez. <laughs> no reaction from you, that's a normal statement, right? <laughs> I think I'm sort of in the, in the middle section, so you get worse and you get better. And look at this, you get air fans in the floor. I know. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen it like that. That was all through the cabinets as well. So, we are demoing the old kitchen, but we haven't quite finished the new kitchen. The thing we need to do is put a range hood in, an extractor fan. We have, of course, been using the kitchen without the extractor fan, and, and that's been okay. But it'll probably work better with this. Wow, it's from a German tank, I think. <laughs> we got a we got a roof, and uh, we got a roof space. Right? If you're on the roof and I'm in the roof, then I can drill through here. You put the flashing in place. That's not to scale. I'm a bit further away in the roof. <laughs> You're closer. Oh, yeah, perspective. It's perspective. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can measure down. Give me a measurement. We negotiate a location. Oop. So if he drills a hole up here, I'll be able to see where that position is. And then we can put the flashing in that location. Why am I always the one volunteering for these, these positions? That's a good question. <laughs> Need to get used to this hole. Influencer thing, eh? Oh, there you are. Daylight. All right. That's a good spot. Sweet.
Sweet. Because it doesn't have the motor on it, it's super light. Nice. Nice. Well done. Stick Beautiful. your hand down the hole, right? <laughs> He's taking his shoes off again. Be careful. Oh, it's the whole bloody... Yeah, yeah, it's the whole unit, huh? So I sat in the wrong place on the ceiling when I was um, doing the duct. There we go, that should hold it. I just won't sit there again. That was terrifying. <laughs> I was in the bathroom and suddenly I just hear Scott scream and this fall down and all this dust came. My heart leapt out of my chest. I don't, I don't know if I screamed. Did I, did I scream? You didn't scream, I said you yelled. Didn't I? <laughs> that would have been great footage. Matters, eh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that is on. Now the pipe's coming up from that end. Now they both have leads, and those leads meet here in the middle. So you just plug the two in, and now that that should work. Ray's gone. He had to pick up his son from school. It's working. You can hear that, eh? But that's on full blast. And I can talk to you perfectly. That is so much quieter, I think. Well, that was probably mostly wind that you could hear, but I could definitely hear it. All right, let's put this thing to the test properly. Let's put this on full blast. We've got an open plan living room. We want to be able to talk in here while this thing's blasting away. This isn't an ad for the system, by the way. We paid for this. It costs a lot of money. But it is an ad for Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform where you can build your online presence and run your business. Squarespace is a website building platform for people who maybe they don't know how to build websites. Or for people who would rather spend their time doing other things. Let Squarespace do most of the work for you. Because they have beautiful templates that will make your website look very professional. They have portfolios and galleries which will do the same. You can just drop in your files, it'll all come up in their portfolio template thingies and it'll look great. Squarespace even have custom domain names built right into the platform. You can do everything inside Squarespace. Very handy. But you don't have to believe me, Squarespace also have a free trial, so you have nothing to lose. And then once you're ready to launch your own website, you can head to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry where you can save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's way less smoke. Do you remember the other night? Oh, we're in Philly. I mean, the true test will be when I um, based it in the... Oh shit, I can never say that. Or oh, Shistisha sauce. So that's full blast. Audio is pretty good. I'm impressed. Look, you can see it. Okay, the fun part. The last part of the demolition of this room. The ceiling. Now there is a good reason why I'm not so positive about demolishing the ceiling. And that is this stuff. Insul fluff. There's only one way to deal with it. I've done it several ways in the past. I've gone up into the ceiling and scooped up everything. Vacuumed it and then pulled the ceiling down. I've done the scooping and vacuuming because I couldn't pull the ceiling down as well. But I think this is the best way. Just like a band-aid, rip it off. We can't decide. Oompa Loompa or Jesse Pinkman?
Where's the guy? Well, that was a fun job, Jess. I vacuumed all the framing in the floor. Man, I am roasting. Who needs a sauna? <laughs> Just do this once a month, Scott. Yeah, exactly. On the way. The plan. Now that we have got this terrible job out of the way, let's talk about what we're gonna do with this room. So starting with the former layout, this was the kitchen, as you know by now. There was that little wall there, and that wall I just finished taking all the studs out of before we pull the ceiling, and now it's gone. So all that's left is a wall going all the way across here, dividing it from where I am sitting and the kitchen behind this wall here. So we've cleared that kitchen. And now we're looking at something like this, a bedroom. These plans, the entire plans for our renovation were done by a company here in Nelson called Fine Line Architecture. I definitely recommend Matt and Magda uh, if you need some architectural services in New Zealand, Nelson, Tasman, top of the South Island area. I'll leave a link below. Magda is actually partners with Ray. Fun fact. Anyway, the plans were great, but the builder didn't follow them completely. I made a mistake. So I've built all these walls to this new plan, except for this wall. This wall here is currently in a little bit. It's actually about there. Squeezing this room and also lessening the width of kitchen bench that we have in the kitchen there. So it wasn't until we started building the kitchen and I'd already built all the walls and done the laundry area that I realized my mistake. <sighs> so all that means in real life is that we've squeezed this bedroom in a little bit and this door here is kind of gonna open into a bed like it's gonna hit the bed as you as you walk in so if it was a little bit further out we wouldn't have had that problem and now we wouldn't have to figure out a solution the solution is to move this door over a little bit push it towards that wall there and then right where you are we're gonna do a Murphy bed so when the bed folds down it shouldn't get in the way of the doorway here that's the plan now, if you don't know what a Murphy bed is, it's basically just a bed on a giant hinge. When it's in the down position, it looks like any other bed, but you can actually lift the bed up and then it will be stored against the wall and look like just a wall. You get to use the room when you don't have guests because that's what this room is, a guest room. And Jess and I have guests maybe 10% of the year, if that. So we would like to be able to use the room for the 90% of the year where no one's staying. So that's how we plan to use the room. And before we get to that stage, we've got to insulate and electrical and all that kind of stuff, double glaze these windows, plasterboard and all the rest of it, and hang a door. So that'll be in the coming episodes.